So TID radio, specifically the H3, I call it TID radio. People call it TID radio, however you want to do it. I made a video about this months ago. Uh, this, this one is the newest version with the upgraded firmware and a couple little changes, but I'll tell you about that. Recently at the Vero Beach Amateur Radio Club, uh, I haven't been doing videos in a while, and uh, Jan and the guys said, Eric, you know, that, that, that TID radio is great. You know, the H3, everybody's got one. What a fantastic idea. I had no idea that everybody in the local club went and got a whole bunch of them because just, you know, everybody wants just a cheap handheld. I mean, I got Yaesus and Icoms, but this thing right here for the price point that you can program directly from your phone on Bluetooth, that makes it so much easier for newcomers in the hobby. And now with the addition of the firmware features in here where you can clone this radio when someone else has one and you say, hey, I just got one of these too. Do you have, you know, frequencies programmed in? Yeah, sure, no problem. Boop, clone it Bluetooth. I mean, the days of Baofeng, Baofeng started all this, and that was one of the very, the very first video on my channel in 2012, I think it was, was a Baofeng radio. Now, TID radio, let's see, we got one here. We got one here. We got a couple other of them, and the thing about this is, I, I actually don't have the one before this because I give them away. A lot of these I'm hanging out with, you know, hanging on to, and uh, a lot of these I give away. If I see somebody that wants a new radio, I give it to them and uh, these come to me for free, I give them away for free. That's how that works. These radios from TID Radio or TID Radio happen to be pretty solid. I kind of like them, man. They had some, some issues in the beginning, I think, and um, they, I have some GMRS models, which is this one. Uh, I have the one here that you can unlock from GMRS to ham radio bands. And then this one, we won't talk about these two, but uh, TID Radio. I'm going to put a link in the description because the price point, guys, is really good. And the fact that, let me let me zoom into this. I'll change the camera angle and show you why I think that uh, in a previous video I made about how do you get people interested into the hobby? How do you get more people, you know, instead of telling them, hey, you, you know, you got to save up for 500 bucks for one of these. Now, and guess what? You can't program this on Bluetooth. You got to buy the, well, it's around here somewhere, over there, the RT Systems software or whatever to program that. This, you could download an app. You could either use it via the USB on the side, USB-C, to program it, or with the Bluetooth that's built right into the radio and program it directly from your phone. If you're in the area, if you're in an area of a repeater and you want to say, hey, you know, I didn't know this repeater was there. What's the frequency and the offset and the tone? One, two, three on the app, boom, comes right in on Bluetooth. I'll show you that right now. All right, so let's talk about just some of the features, you know, of this again, if you didn't see my original video, right? For the price point of this radio right here, little compact thing, dual PTT right here, okay? This one, uh, compared to the original one, has a backlit screen here, or a keypad, so if you're in the dark, they made this backlit. They also added functions like um, Bluetooth uh, cloning of the device, and also, like, if you hold number one, watch this. You can actually scan for a radio that is transmitting nearby and find the frequency and the tone of that radio right here. Now, some radios that are higher end on bigger markets don't even have that function. I mean, my ICOMs do, my Yaesu does and stuff, but to have this where if you're around somebody and they're using the radio and you don't know what frequency they're on, and you know what? Somebody programmed, or for, programmed it for them, they don't know what frequency they're on. You can find it right here, then you can store it you know, look, we're finding 151.9225. That might have been somebody around here on business band. I don't know. But we're going to clear that, okay? Let's reset that. Let's get out of here. All right? Um, one thing about this, uh, again, eight band receiving. So, you know, AM aircraft on, a on AM receive only 108 to 136. VHF and UHF for, uh, let's see, one... 136 to 174, 400 to 470, but also receive on 470 to 600, 50 to 76, which I'm not sure we could use that. I mean, maybe FM, uh, FM, uh, FM 6 meter you can receive on this thing, right? Uh, 350 to 400 and so on. A lot of, you know, eight bands, really, are we going to use all them? Probably not. But I also saw something online that you can program 20, you know, 27 megahertz in here for CB. Now, I haven't been able to do that, but I need, probably need to look in the features and maybe enable something, but it was on there. And also, they, again, they have the option of Bluetooth programming in here or a USB-C on the side. Now, the standard Baofeng Kenwood style 
you know, didn't change that. We can still use hand mics that you have. We can still use uh, uh, different uh, accessories for that, but programming through the USB-C, okay, or Bluetooth. So you have two options there. Let's say you don't want to use your phone and Bluetooth, you know, into it with an app. No problem. Now I want to show you something else. This was from them about a year ago, and this was the original way that you would take any radio and, you know, program it Bluetooth like that, right? So you were able to plug this in to a Baofeng or, or a Rativis or all kinds of different radios and use their app, which I'm going to show you, to, to program the radio. Well, this is not needed, although this still does work for, for radios that don't have Bluetooth. Again, look at the Bluetooth icon right here on the screen. It's right there. Bluetooth. So when you take your phone, okay, on the app, which is OD Master, some people were very uh, not willing to install this because it asks you to register with an email and password. Man, I haven't had any problems with that. I used my other email. Don't use your main email if you don't want. But look, I programmed, I mean, I downloaded this and with Bluetooth, right, you could, you know, connect the radio right here. One, two, three. Now watch. All right, I can go select model, TID radio, uh, a lot of theirs, you go H3, built-in Bluetooth, and hit read. Look, downloads the whole radio right to your phone. Now, you can modify channels, you can add channels, you can change settings at a radio <clears throat> right here without having any kind of computer near you. For somebody that's new into the hobby, this makes it very easy. Instead of saying, well, listen, dude, you gotta buy this radio, and then, and by the way, uh, you gotta buy that software over there, which is 59 bucks. You have to do this, this, and blah, blah, blah. No, you could just, you know, grab a phone real quick, and here you go, okay? Now, if I go to, well, what did I do here? First thing they have here is repeater list. Now, based on my, again, R Finder, you pay lots of money for the R Finder radios that do the same thing here. And by the way, some of the R Finder repeater database is out of date. So this right here will show me repeaters that are near me. How cool is that? Look, W4OT, if you click this, import, boom. There's all your settings, right? Watch this, import, import two, channel four, there you go. Channel four is gonna be W4OT, right? Look at this, based on geolocation, K4HV, yeah, we'll put that on channel five, don't know where that is, all right? And then so on, right? Then when you hit import, you hit write, and there it goes, writing right to your radio. It's not any simpler than that. Another thing that they added in this newer firmware is the ability to remotely kill and stun or activate another radio. So if you, when you set these up with the, each code of each radio, let's say somebody is really out of line, you could, you could, you know, I mean, I've never used this. I don't think a lot of us hams use this. You get star, enter this code, right? And once you enter the code, transmit, and that would, you could set it to kill, you could set it to stun temporarily, or you could set it to activate another radio. That's the really prevalent in, in DMR stuff, but the fact that they added it to here, you could t potentially use these for business purposes and, and be able to control remotely or clone or add or subtract other people to your group of radios with this. So. Really, really neat stuff, man. Not a bad radio for the price. Um, sometimes they have these in two packs. They come with the belt clip, they come with the charger, drop in charger, the lander, the antenna. Everything you need to, to use something like this, okay? And I didn't realize that the whole Club and Vero has one because they're like, yeah, well, you know, we, we, we give them away for new, new licensees. Uh, everybody wanted to add one to their collection. So easy, why didn't this, you know, why didn't they do this before? Yeah. The TID radio, um, the H3, the newest one. I like these radios. Uh, I haven't checked out a Baofeng in some time, but I've checked out some of these TIDs, and the link is in the description. You can check it out. Look at the price. Get one of these, very small, compact, dual PTT. A lot of the functions that you're familiar with, dual watch and, and, and scanning and uh, all kinds of things that you would or wouldn't use on some of these radios, you know? So... I hope this uh, little update here shows you that the TID radio company is still taking improvements, still listening to the feedback, and still making progress to move forward and make something, you know, 2024-esque.